Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another week of Fuel Up with Team Battle Chef. My name is Chef Anastasia, and today we are going to make a parfait with a holiday twist. We're adding eggnog to it, so we're making an eggnog yogurt parfait. Parfait is a French word, so does anyone, anyone know that, what that means? It is a French word that means perfect. So it's perfect for the holidays, I would say. And now joining me this week is my team Chef ambassador, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hey, everyone. My name is Nicole, and here I am as a team Chef ambassador with Anastasia. Today, we'll be making a yogurt parfait, and I'm so excited to try it. Ooh. I'm 16. I'm from the Bronx, and I go to Hero High School. Awesome. Thank you, Nicole. So before we get started, why don't we remind everyone how to keep it clean and keep it safe in the kitchen? The first thing you'd like to do is wash your hands to the happy birthday song at least twice, tie your hair back or you can wear a hat, you can roll up your sleeves and remove any jewelry like rings or bracelets that you always have on. And if you wear long nails, you can also wear gloves. Awesome, good point. And of course we might be using a knife today. I know I'm using a knife. So uh, if you can see my screen, when you use your knife, when you're not using your knife, you're gonna keep it at the top of your cutting board with the blade facing away from you to keep it safe. So you don't cut yourself while you're working with other things. Uh, if you're walking around the kitchen with a knife, of course, keep it at your side. If you can see me slightly. So at your side facing, your, the blade is facing to the back. And if you're working with a buddy in the kitchen, just make sure you let them know that you're walking around with a sharp object. You could say something like behind with a knife so they know to steer clear. And of course, if you are cooking with a buddy, ask them to join you now so we can get this holiday party started. So Nicole, um, let's see what we have to go, what we have, you know, for our parfait and what we need. So why don't we take them down to the chef zone? Take you back down. So what do we need? This is a parfait, so first things first. We need a clear glass or a clear bowl. You can use a clear jar even. So you can see those lovely layers we're about to build. We're also going to- What if we don't have a clear glass? Good point. You could use a bowl, uh, preferably a clear one, just so you can see the layers. I mean, it's not gonna taste any different if you don't have that. So you can use a mug or a bowl. It'll work the same. Um, now, good question though. So for our parfait, we have some Greek yogurt. So I have some regular unflavored Greek yogurt. And what's our eggnog parfait without eggnog? I have a little jar of eggnog here. Perfect holiday drink. Now we're gonna flavor that up with some vanilla extract and some spices. So we have some nutmeg. So this is what nutmeg looks like before it's ground up, or you can buy already ground nutmeg. So it's like a little ball, you'll see. Then we're also going to use some cinnamon. So these are nice holiday spices. When I think of the holidays, I think of nutmeg and cinnamon, right? Then we have our lovely dried cranberries some granola, some crunchy granola. I have some cinnamon granola that I bought. So it's perfect for this. What kind of granola are you using, Nicole? Honey nut Cheerio granola. Look at that. And then you can use a fruit in here. I was thinking maybe a banana, but I don't have any bananas with me right now. So I have this red pear that I think will add a lot of flavor and some cool red color. And that is everything we need. I'll be using banana and blueberries. Oh, so yeah, you're using blueberry and banana. Anything else different from, from mine? And almonds. Oh, I like that. Sounds like a good yummy parfait. So if we had more people joining, we can play Kahoot. So if more people join along the way, uh, we can launch Kahoot. But, you know, since people are still joining, Let's just start cooking. What do you say? Okay. All right. So let me take you guys back down. So I'm going to start by making the yogurt eggnog base. 
So I have my yogurt here, right? And I'm going to flavor that up with a little bit of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon, just a small little splash. Come on, get out of there, there we go. And then a pinch of cinnamon. Just like that. I love cinnamon. Do you love cinnamon? I love cinnamon. I could already smell it. Oh, it smells so good. And then, like I said, I have my whole nutmeg, little nutmeg pod or seed or whatever it might be called. And you'll see, I want to get it to be ground. So I don't have a spice grinder on hand right now. And I don't have any ground nutmeg. So I'm using what's called a microplane. So if you ever have a whole nutmeg like this, this will grate it up and I don't need too much. So I'm just going to do it right into my bowl with my yogurt. But if you already have ground nutmeg, you can just do a pinch. All right. What are some other spices you think, you know, people might add to this that might go with this? Pumpkin spice. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin spice, which is a combination of spices. So if you have pumpkin spice, you can just add that instead of those two. Now, we're not going to add all of our eggnog at once. We're going to add about two tablespoons to the yogurt. But we're still going to need more for the later, and you'll see why. So yogurt is a rich source of protein, right? So we love yogurt. It's also high in vitamin D, which actually, so we know that yogurt is a good source of calcium, but did you know that we need vitamin D to help our bodies absorb more calcium? So that's the good thing about yogurt, about dairy. It has both. To make our bones go stronger. Exactly. Makes our bones go stronger. We need it for muscles, for muscle contractions. We also need vitamin D for other things, like brain function. We need it for our nervous system, for a healthy immune system. Oh, this smells so good. So that's what it looks like all mixed up. I'm going to put that to the side for now. And now I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my pear. So you're going to start slicing my banana. Exactly. So show everyone how you slice a banana safely. Cut the stem off and then you just, or you could peel it with the stem. Okay. And are you going to use the whole banana or half? Half. You just slice it into little spices. Exactly. Are you going to use your bear claw? Yeah. So you can see I cut my pear in half. I'm going to take the seeds out if I see any seeds. And then I'm going to do the same thing Nicole's doing. I'm going to use my bear claw and just slice it one way and maybe dice it another way. It's a very ripe pear, so it's pretty soft. I see any parts I don't want, I'm just gonna put that in my garbage bowl. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, and the fruit adds a lot of extra fiber to the parfait, right? Yeah. A lot of vitamins, minerals. Have you ever had eggnog before this? No, I haven't. Oh, so this was your first time? Yeah, it's super delicious. I didn't expect it to be that good. Yeah, so eggnog, what's in eggnog anyway? So it's a mixture of milk, cream, eggs, sugar, and spices. And it's about the same spices we use in our, in our yogurt. So it's only enhancing that flavor. I think I'm going to chop up my cranberries a little bit so they're a little smaller. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. So give them a rough chop. And cranberries are considered a superfood. Did you know that? What's a superfood? 
So a superfood is a food that is really high in vitamins and antioxidants. So cranberries are super high in antioxidants. And superfoods also just abuse, boost our immune system and our health, making them super healthy. Now, what if someone doesn't have any dried cranberries on hand? What do you think they can use? Raisins. Raisins, right? Another dried fruit. Dried cherries are really cool. Nice and tart. So those are roughly chopped. Sticking to my knife. And if you ever have something stuck to your knife, carefully, just with your thumb or your finger, push down away from you to get everything off. Okay. I'm gonna put that back into my bowl. And this is such a simple, easy recipe. I love it for breakfast, as a midday snack. Yummy, yummy, okay. Or for dinner. You know, I've had yogurt for dinner when I'm like lazy and don't wanna cook and maybe when it's, you know, late i don't feel like turning on the stove because it has a lot of protein it has fiber it has healthy fats so it has everything we need all right so now we can start building our parfait it's that quick and easy hi msp are you a student a teacher where are you joining from somebody named msp is in the house so this is how we do it. You're gonna start by putting a layer of your yogurt on the bottom. So maybe half of your yogurt. Let me push that a little closer so you guys can see. And I like to sometimes push the yogurt to the sides so you can see it through the glass on the sides. All right, then I'm gonna go in with some of my pear. So you can add your fruit at this point, Nicole. What she said? So you can add your fruit on top of your yogurt? Yeah, I'm adding my banana. Cool. And then I'm going to add some granola. And granola is just a mix of you know, spices and Maybe nuts sometimes. No, because nobody joined. Hello. So we can play Kahoot if you guys want. Who wants to play Kahoot? Anybody want to play Kahoot? Hi, and MSP. Would you play Kahoot if we played? You want to play a fun game? I haven't heard from you yet. Perfect. All right. So maybe we'll play Kahoot after we're done layering and then we can uh, get back to that. So after our granola, we can put our, what goes next, Nicole? You can put raspberries. So you can put more fruit or you can put your dried cranberries. Cranberries. There we go. You'll see, I like to put a lot of the ingredients on the side first to make sure you see it. I'm going to go ahead and add some blueberries. Mm. Okay. Then I'm going to add the rest of my yogurt on top. And spread that. Oh, this smells so, so good. It's even good enough to be a dessert, I think. For sure. Okay. Now, before I add the rest of my granola and my cranberries, this is where some more eggnog comes into play. 
So I'm gonna take about two more tablespoons of eggnog and drizzle it right over. And you can drizzle it on the sides, make sure it seeps into the layers. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. Wow, Nicole, that looks lovely. I love how, yeah, I love how I can see your layers. I see your fruit. Then I'm just gonna go in with the rest of my granola. So crunchy toppings. I like to add the granola on top so it stays nice and crunchy. Mm hmm. And then some more cranberries for some extra red and some tartness. Yes, so we definitely want to play Kahoot up next so we can find out why this lovely, delicious yogurt parfait is good for us. But before we do that, let me show you guys. You see the layers? Oh, I have a cranberry over there. You see how I carefully added the layers and you can see everything? See that? Wow, look at Nicole's. That looks so, so, so good. Great job, Nicole. So whoever asked for the recipe, are you guys making it? Are you saving the recipe for later? I would love to know. But what do you say before we eat this? Let's play Kahoot. So let's launch Kahoot and see why this recipe is good for us. So Nicole, you can even play. Anybody in the chat, in the Zoom could play. Okay, I'll play. Awesome. So hi, and somebody named MSP. You guys can play Kahoot. Lynn can play. <laughs> Anybody can play. There's Lynn. All right. We need someone to compete with Lynn. Who's smarter than Lynn, huh? Absolutely <laughs> Oh, is it Marsh? Hmm. Let's see. I'm waiting for Nicole. All right. This is a fun one. The snowman is waiting for you. All right, Nicole joined. Doom, doom, doom. So I'll give you guys another 15 seconds if anybody else is joining, or you could join midway if you want to. So once you go to kahoot.it or a Kahoot app, you would just type in that game pin, 774-0531. I'm gonna type that in the chat just in case. 774 zero five three one all right so let's get started all right kahoot eggnog yogurt parfaits all right number one has anyone tasted eggnog before i know nicole said she hasn't before this Two say yes, and one say no, it's their first time. So there's no wrong answer here, guys. So where did eggnog originate? Do we know? From China using goose eggs, from Scandinavia, and it was drank by Vikings, from the British during medieval times, or was it invented by pilgrims? Oh, that's it. It was actually invented from, pilg from British during the medieval times. So that's where eggnog came from. Oh, Mosh took the lead. 
what is in eggnog? I gave this away before. If you guys were listening, let's see. Is it milk, cream, sugar, spices, and eggs? Milk, yogurt, sugar, cream, nutmeg, and eggs? Or milk, cinnamon, and eggs? There we go. It is milk, cream, sugar, spices, and of course, eggs. All right, let's see. Number four, which foods are high in vitamin D and calcium in our recipe? Is it eggnog, cranberries, granola, or yogurt? I think there might be more than one correct answer. That's right. So the dairy products, eggnog and yogurt in this recipe are high in vitamin D and calcium. All right, smarty pants. Number five, cinnamon can help control blood sugar. Is that true or false? Hmm. Can cinnamon help control blood sugar? That is true, you guys. So cinnamon, the spice cinnamon, actually helps our cells use up sugar in our blood. So it can help control blood sugar and avoid really high blood sugar. Good to know. Okay, number six, which of these do not help us feel full for longer? So which do not help us feel full for longer? Fats, protein, fiber, that's right, sugar. So fats help us keep us, help keep us satisfied and it provides energy. Protein helps us feel full as well. Fiber as well, but sugar, it helps you feel full for a second and then out of nowhere, you're crashing down and hungry again, right? So that's why when you have a high sugar meal, you feel full for maybe an hour, but then you're hungry again. Okay, let's see what's up next. Good job, you guys. Which ingredient in today's recipe is a good source of vitamin C? Is it yogurt, cinnamon, cranberries, or granola? That's right. So cranberries like most fruits and vegetables, are really rich in vitamin C. That's good. And then which vitamin found in dairy helps us, helps us absorb calcium? Is it vitamin C, D, protein, or vitamin A? I think I gave this one away before. Who remembers? So one of these, yep, that's it. So vitamin D helps our bodies absorb calcium. So they go hand in hand. Good job, you guys. All right, why do we need vitamin D? I also think I gave this one away, if anyone was listening. Does it help us absorb calcium? Does it help our, oh, you guys beat me to it. So they're all correct. It helps us absorb calcium, like I said. Um, it supports a healthy immune system. It supports brain function and our nervous systems. So it does all those things. Dun, dun, dun. All right, true or false? Last month, cranberries are considered a superfood. I think we all know this one. That's right, like I said, Cranberries are a superfood because they have a lot of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals and support our health. All right, good job, you guys. Let's see who our winners are. In third place, we have Nicole. Good job, Nicole. Second is Lynn. Good job, Lynn. And first place for all the cranberries is Mosh. Good job, Mosh Noon. Thank you guys for playing. So now we know why this eggnog yo yogurt parfait is super healthy and why all the ingredients are great for our health. Now that we know all that, I think we should eat it. So Nicole, show us your lovely parfait. Hold it up to the camera, smile, and then grab a spoon. I'm gonna grab a spoon right here. And I think my favorite way to do this is to just dig in and make sure I get every single layer. Yeah, same. And you have a longer way to go than me. You have a tall glass. So you gotta dig in. I'll show you guys. So. Mm. 
Oh yeah. It's so good. Mm -hmm. So simple too. It was quick and easy. I love the sweetness from the eggnog, the tartness from the cranberries and from the yogurt, and then that crunchiness from the granola. I think they all, you know, lend everything to the dish, to the, re the recipe, and they come together to make one really yummy snack. What do you like about it? I love how um, the blueberries add extra tartness. So delicious. Mm -hmm. I need to try it with blueberries next time. That was a good one. And how about those almonds? I bet that's good too. Super crunchy. Awesome. So should we even vote who won? I think we know who won. I think you won. So I think you won. I don't know. I really like that you had the blueberries and the banana. That sounds so, so good. All right. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to inhale this. But first, let's talk about what's coming up next week. So next week, oh, well, hold up. Before we get to next week, if you make this, take a photo of it, post it to Instagram or Facebook or wherever, tag us at Family Cook NYC and tag the American Dairy Council, American Dairy NE, and use the hashtag FuelUpTVC. And of course, you can follow me at Family Cook NYC. I know, Nicole, I forgot to put your Instagram in there. I think it's cooking dot with underscore, underscore n. n. Look at me. Good memory. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole, for that. But next time, so not next week, but in two weeks after the new year, on January 4th, the same time, 4.15, same place on Zoom, we are making a delicious pumpkin spice smoothie. It tastes like a pumpkin pie in a glass, I swear. So, so good. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you again, Nicole, for joining me. And have a happy holiday and a happy new year. Bye, you guys. Happy holidays. Happy, happy new year. Thank you. Bye, Anastasia. Bye.